Just a second ago, I sent you a link to this group chat all of us are in for our class reunion. Did you click on it and take a look at everything we've been talking about? How's it going, Kay? I haven't heard from you in a while. I just got that link from you a little bit ago and gave it a read. And from the looks of it, it looks like you're getting married now too. Congratulations. That's right. Do you want to hear more about it? About who the lucky man is? I'm sure you and I will meet at the upcoming class reunion, so how about you tell everyone there about your marriage? Actually, the man I'm with is a year younger than me. All right, well, you can tell us all about that at the upcoming class reunion. And he's making over $100,000 a year right now. I'm not sure all the details about his work, but it seems pretty tough. I think he's in consulting? At least that's what it all sounds like to me. Also, his father just so happens to work for the state and the capital, and his mother is a very famous pianist. He and his family are all living the life we can only dream of right now, right? That is very amazing. His older brother seems to be taking after their father and will someday be working for the state as well at the Capitol. They really are all like celebrities in a sense, right? And I'll be able to finally join a family like that now too. Congrats. There's nothing else? Nothing else about what? Like a more, wow, that's insane. I knew you could become famous, Kay. Or maybe something like, this is what I expected from the winner of the high school beauty contest. I'm so jealous, even. There's nothing else from you? I did say that it was amazing, didn't I? All right, all right, I get it. You've always been that really cool girl that doesn't need to be so overreactive. It was to the point even where in class, nobody could really even tell if you were there or not. Nothing special about you, you basic woman. So you're telling me that you only started to text me today in order to brag about your wedding to a basic woman with nothing special about her? Well, that's one part of the reason. <laughs> but there is also something even more important that I need to text you about. Something even more important than bragging? In that class reunion group chat, you can see that I went and invited everyone to my wedding, right? But the thing is, you're the only person who's not invited to my wedding as I can't invite you. So I just wanted to make that clear to you right now, just in case you were all in high spirits about coming to see my husband and I. I did see you telling everyone that you wanted them all at your wedding. I really do want everyone at my wedding. Uh, everyone except you. Can I ask what the reason for that is? You already know what the reason is. If on my guest list with all the people that I invited, there was you written down on it, someone who's all dark and emotionless, then everyone would look at me differently. And before long, my value to my husband's family would drop and the same thing with everyone else in higher position than me. Huh? What I'm saying is my stock would plummet. Your stock would plummet? If all my friends aren't pretty women and handsome men, then I'm in trouble. To me, friends are like jewelry. If even one of them is not from a high-end brand, then I will look silly and like a lowlife. And, well, you are one of those low-end brand earrings or whatever that would make me look bad in front of everyone else. Therefore, I don't want you coming to my wedding as you would really ruin my special day. And that's why I'm telling you right now that you are not invited. Thank you so much for saying that. I would feel so bad for you in opening up your schedule in order to come to my wedding when you're just not on the guest list. <laughs> and I'm sure you're still single and without a boyfriend yet, right? So actually, you probably don't have much on your schedule to begin with. <laughs> I'm still not as free as you might want to believe. What was that? Did you actually find yourself a boyfriend? You of all people. Did you go to the zoo and find yourself a gorilla or something? I'm not talking about a partner, rather, my current job. You are such a loser and a letdown. <laughs> That's exactly the type of answer someone like you would use. You are so much like every other poor person out there. <laughs> Can't believe you just made it sound like you don't have any time when you don't even have any money. <laughs> As for myself, I'll be getting married to my dream man and will never have to work a day in my life again. I'll become a housewife for the rest of my life and be able to use all of his money any which way I'd like. Seriously, it'll be like I'm living up in heaven while you suffer down there on the earth. That's right. And different things make different people happy, so I don't care about you living that celebrity life. Now, I'll see you again at the class reunion. Hello, Annie. Uh, do you have a moment to speak with me? 
What's going on, Danny? Is there a problem? No, this has nothing to do with work, actually. Rather, a private matter. Private matter? Oh, is this about your upcoming wedding? I noticed that you responded back to my invite by saying you wouldn't be coming. And, well, I just wanted to know why that was. I've been working under you for so many years now, and I'd really like it if my higher-up came and saw me get married. I'm sorry. Just a couple of things came up that have kept me from saying that I can go. A couple of things? Does this have to do with that massive contract you're working on for the company? Uh, that can't be it, because I would have heard about it all as well. I'm really sorry, Danny. Uh, really, it's something private to myself. Oh, did something end up happening to you regarding me? Not at all. You've been a great friend to me ever since college, and when I said that I wanted to start my own company, you stuck right next to me and supported me through it all. I think of you as a really strong friend of mine. You're like a childhood friend to me, almost, and that means I really do want to be there at your wedding. Oh, then please, come to my wedding. Look, you know all about the wedding I'm planning to hold for everyone, and I, I plan to hold it for you too. I had a look at the invitation and the place you had written down on there. It's the wedding venue that one of our best friends and club members from back in school runs now. I can't believe that you'll have the chance to have your wedding there. And a story about your connections to the wedding venue would be really powerful. And if your schedule really is free on that day, then I'd love for you to at least show your face there. Also, back when my last girlfriend left me, you told me to get back up, try again. Because you wanted to be at my wedding someday, right? You said that to me. Now that you mention it, I, I did say that. Well, if that's the case, then I guess I have to think about this a little bit more. Oh, well, please, think about all the reasons you have to come to my wedding. I'll be going on, Annie. Sorry for bothering you during your break. I'll see you again soon. Of course. See you again soon. Annie, are you so unattractive that at the class reunion you weren't even going to try finding a man? Or could it be that you really do want one, but know you can't have one? The class reunion is over now. What do you want from me still? I'm at the after party now, so can I just ignore you? Huh? After party? You hold it right there. I never heard anything about there being an after party. Just a few of us decided to do something after the reunion, and that's why we went out to a bar to have some fun. There were too many people at the reunion itself that we had to catch up with, and so we didn't have the time to talk to one another much. That's why we're here now, just having a few drinks and chatting a bit more thoroughly. There are a few people here as well that I haven't seen in ages. Who's all there? Most of them are people you never seemed to get along with back in school, so you wouldn't have any fun here with us anyway. Don't tell me that Cedric is there right now. Cedric? From what I heard, he went and joined a different group to go out and have some drinks with. Shut up! Where did he go to have some drinks? I don't know all of that. I'm just out with a couple of old girlfriends relaxing and having some fun. Maybe they went out to one of the pubs or bars close to the venue we were at? What the? I should have known you were just at some plain and simple drinking party. <laughs> Alright then. Oh, I know who you're with. All those annoying and nerdy girls that you hung out with a lot back in the day. I'm not sure who all you're talking about there. But these are all my friends from back in high school. Now I'm trying to enjoy my time with them here, so see you later, alright? Well, I have something I'd like to tell you. What? I'm really not in the mood to chat with you anymore, alright? Are you going to try to pick on me again? Because that's how things always were back in high school with you. You always call me a loser and a plain girl, yet you keep coming back to me. Do you actually like me or something? Do you want me to be your friend now? Do you want me to be your girlfriend or something now? Oh, shut the hell up already! Who would ever want to be anything to someone as simple and boring as you? I wanted to give you a warning is all. I saw you today talking with Cedric there at the reunion, and we both know that you are not even close to the same level as him. The same level as him? Why can't I talk with someone from back in high school that I haven't seen in a while? Cedric won the men's beauty contest back in high school, the same year I won the women's contest. And after that, at prom, he and I went out with each other and became the prom king and queen. Do you remember that? He is someone that I can get with and be around, but not you. <laughs> ah, don't tell me that at the reunion you started to get all jealous seeing him talking to me and not you. Huh? I, I would never, ever in my life be jealous of someone like you. 
And why would I ever be jealous of a woman trying to find a man when I already have my dream man now? You're the one who should be jealous of me right now. The only place a plain woman like you could ever talk to a man is at the high school class reunion, which is just sad and depressing. Thank God I didn't invite you to my wedding. I would be in huge trouble if you came out to my gorgeous wedding and started to try and find a man there. I wasn't trying to get into a relationship with him or anything. Actually, I'm not really in the mood for a relationship with any men right now anyway. Now, just because you are so starved of being with anyone you want to love you, don't think that I'm in the same boat. What the heck? I happen to want to focus on my job right now, which means I don't care if I have a boyfriend or not right now, or get married or not right now. I don't need to be in a relationship to be happy like other people might need. So I'd like you to stop thinking that I'm so starved from not having any relationships going on right now, as I'm not. I'm doing just fine living the life I have alone and don't need you telling me otherwise. Okay, okay, keep trying to act all tough about it. You're just making up all those excuses because you're not sexy, right? And I can tell that just by the fact that you're not even with any men right now at that after party. It's funny that you'd say something like that to me. When you weren't even invited by anyone to go out after the reunion, there must be some intense meaning behind that. Oh, shut the hell up already. I'm the one getting married now, so everyone is being nice by letting me go home to my man. And by the way, unlike you, I don't have all that free time to sit and chat. I have to get back to work preparing my wedding and everything, so goodbye forever. You were the one who started texting me. There has to be a reason for why you are so shameless. You came all the way out here to my wedding today, even though you were not invited. Are you here to start flirting with all my guests now in the hope of finding someone? Or could it be you trying to get with Cedric again, even though you're not supposed to be here? Have you not taken a look at your wedding guest list? I know that you weren't invited to this wedding, and that's why there's no need for me to look. And so you think that just because you didn't invite me here today, you can just pour water all over me? A lowlife like you who thinks they can just walk into my wedding uninvited deserves to be soaked in cold water. My wedding is not the place for the lower caste to come and be a part of. I'm going to go home now because of what you did, so you better not regret whatever comes later, all right? I would never regret pouring water all over you. Are you confused about who the main attraction is for today? I'm the person everyone wants to care about and see today, and you were not invited here by me. I will not have you becoming confused about that again. Now get the hell out of here. You're just dirtying my special day and wedding by being here. Well, if you do begin to regret things and try to get me to help you later, I will not, all right? And I told you I won't regret a thing. All right then, I'll be going now. Tell your husband I said hello. Annie, were you also trying to go after my man as well today? You must have been turned away by so many men now that you became desperate enough to go after my husband. You are totally screwed in the head. If that's what you came up with by me just wanting you to tell your husband hello, then it's probably you who has their head on backwards. I told you before, I don't care about being in a relationship right now. Just because you have to keep worrying about finding the right man and won't be happy otherwise doesn't mean I'm the same way. I don't need any other man now. You are really making me sick. Just get the hell out of here. And that's just what I'll do. Goodbye forever. Annie, what do you mean you were forced to leave? Oh, Kay is telling me that there was an accident at the table where one of the water glasses tipped over and spilled on you in your dress. But she tried to apologize for it, but you wouldn't forgive her and ran off out the front doors. Ah, so that's what she's trying to tell everyone now. You didn't hear anything besides that story from her? That was all she really told me. I'm so sorry you got covered in water while you were here. Danny, have you not told her anything about the kind of relationship you and I have to one another? What? I was thinking about telling her about us while you were here today at the wedding. I thought that would be a better decision instead of telling her without you around. I see. Well, listen, Danny, that woman came up to me with a full pitcher of water and ice and poured it all over me. There were also fruits and herbs in that pitcher with the water. What? What are you talking about? I was told by her that she was handing you a glass of water and... 
I didn't want to say anything to you about it at the time since you were having so much fun getting ready for your wedding. And I never said anything about Kay before because she was the woman you fell in love with and wanted to marry. But Danny, Kay actually happens to be from the same high school and year as me. Is that right? And as for your guys' wedding, she invited everyone from our class to it besides me. If you want to know the reason why she didn't, that's because there's something about me she just doesn't like. And she's made that very apparent to me ever since we first met. She didn't even invite you? Actually, she told me not to come at all. And that's why I told you I couldn't make it the first time. That's the reason why. I could just explain all of this to you, but I'll just show you what I'm talking about instead. And this was the conversation we had 30 minutes ago. No way. This can't be. Since she's gone this far to make me feel unwanted by everyone, I no longer think that I can agree with you getting married to a monster like her anymore. I can tell you everything that's happened between her and I, but nothing else. You will have to decide for yourself how you plan to handle your relationship from here on out. Hold on a second. Let me clear out this room and I'll call you about this. Hey, what the hell is going on here? Why do I have to lose my man now right as we are about to have our wedding? And right before we were going to get on stage and say our vows? Why are you talking to me about this? Because I know that after you got drenched in water, you became pissed off and did something to screw up my whole wedding. It turns out that Danny trusts me a whole lot more than a fake woman like yourself. And that's why your marriage is no more. What? Danny, uh, have you been talking to Danny? Yes because he happens to be my employee. Your employee? Right after I graduated from college, I went to start a company of my own. And from the day I first started that company, he's been right alongside me helping make things along. He even helped me make the company go international, so I have a lot of respect for my friend Danny. What did you say? So then, that consulting company or whatever where Danny's working, that's your company? That's exactly right. Before, we had just been close friends that went to the same college, but now we both work together, me as his CEO and him as my employee. There is no freaking way. So when he had to choose who to believe, either me, who he's been working alongside for years and years, or you, who he's only known for around a year or two and who's been lying to him, the choice was easy. And so he went with believing me. What did you say to him? I showed him all the conversations you and I have been having over text. Excuse me? The conversation where you told me why I couldn't come to your wedding, and the conversation where you said I was just trying to search for a man to be my boyfriend. All of those conversations we had, along with all the horrible things you said about me. That was all screenshotted and shown to Danny by me. That totally goes against my privacy, though. Well, I'm sure it does in some way. But that was an easier way of explaining things to him than trying to talk it all out. Sorry about that. If that all really does lead to me not having him as my husband, then I'm going to take you to court and sue you. I'll make sure you pay for this whole wedding that's become a total waste as well, and the settlement will be for at least 100000 That's as long as you have the ability to do all of that to me. I have the ability, you jerk! That's scary, but I'm not so sure it's going to be me paying any money, since it will most likely be you. What was that? It wasn't those screenshots or anything that I sent to Danny that made him want to call things off with you. It was all those people you talked with after the reunion and exchanged phone numbers with and then later went out with behind his back. What? Uh, huh? You exchanged contacts with some guys at the reunion and then later went out with them all to have some fun, right? You were going on and on about how I was the one in need of a man and trying to find one at that reunion when it was really you having to do all of that. Why do you know all about that? Unlike all those men you were talking with and getting ready to take to bed, I was talking with a well-put-together man like Cedric, and he told me some things. He was telling me about how you continued to send him all these messages about how you wanted to take him out and go on a date, and that all those messages were really starting to drive him up the wall. He even told you no two times because he knew better than to go out with someone who had plans to get married. Yet you kept on trying, and that really changed his perspective of you in a bad way. Why was Cedric talking with you of all people about that, though? What? You don't know why? Well, it's because he and I are longtime friends with one another. I know that! 
and it pissed me off watching him always talking to you all the time just because you are a friend of his from back in elementary school. So is that the reason why you've always been coming back to talk with me even though you say you don't want me around you? I just thought you were gay or something and had feelings for me that you couldn't find ways of expressing properly. Now I finally have the answer. Anyway, Cedric and I are not only friends, but family friends since both of our parents go out quite often. And let me just say he is not fair game for you to go after right now because he is engaged. And he actually happens to love that girl, so there's no room for you to be butting into his life. Unlike you, the woman he's engaged to is both beautiful on the outside and on the inside. What the hell? I never knew that! Another thing, Kay, you don't have room to be complaining about Danny leaving you when you already went and cheated on him before your wedding. So, you really know all about that? And I made sure to tell Danny about every little thing that I know about you. He's a great friend of mine and a great employee of mine. There was no way I could hold back the truth from him any longer and so I let it spill all out. I want him to be happy and the only way that can happen is by telling him everything I know. No way. That's led to the life of becoming a celebrity that I've worked so hard for. The only thing I can say about all of this is that you deserve it. Annie, please. He's your employee and your friend, so go and tell him all the good things about me. Work with me to make sure he doesn't leave me. The fact that you can even ask things like that from me after all you've said and done is ridiculous. I'll apologize to you for pouring all that water on you, all right? But that was just water, so there's no real reason to be that worked up over it, right? The fact that you still keep going on like that after all you've done to me is almost disgusting now. If I can't get married to Danny, then how am I supposed to carry on with life? This is life-threatening, please! I'm your friend, so help me out here! I'm sorry, but you are not my friend. And I would much rather that my friend and employee Danny be happy instead of you. He's done so much for me in the past, like building all my contracts with other customers, so I could never ask him to marry a monster like you. He'd never be able to become happy, and that would break my heart. Are you saying you're fine with me not becoming happy then? After pouring all that water on me? Yes. I told you I'd apologize for that. You keep going on about apologizing to me, yet I haven't heard you say sorry to me yet. I'm sure you're just BSing me right now, right? I'm sorry, please, Annie. Please help me in making sure that I can marry Danny and never have to end up alone again. And I'm sorry myself because there is no way in hell I will help you. Now please, with whatever strength and dignity you have left, go to wherever the hell idiots like you live and leave the rest of us alone forever. Goodbye forever, for real this time. <laughs> Right after I sent that last goodbye to Kay, I made sure to block her number right away in order to avoid any more bullcrap from her. Then I went and deleted her contact information and blocked all of her accounts on social media before telling everyone I knew about what had happened and to make sure to keep her out of their lives as well. Because of that, pretty much everyone started to learn about the kind of idiot she was and I did not regret one thing. Kay really did end up losing Danny and the marriage, and because of all the men she had played with while together with Danny, she had to pay him a massive settlement. But since she was always so prideful about living off other people's money, she didn't have a cent of her own to give. And so she ended up having to go back out and find a few different jobs in order to make some kind of payment each month on that settlement to Danny. I hear that she's going to be working for a few years, paying off everything, and I hope that while she's struggling through everything, she's thinking about those regrets that she said she'd never have. <laughs>